Saving these for the trail. will help. Get out of this.
Here's the bridge Jira mentioned. Now to see if I can find his tracks. No telling how many people pass this way. But this was a man with a cart, so... that up later. And of the tracks. Well, that doesn't make any sense. What's around here? Someone's possessions. Gendert's? There's goods scattered everywhere. And a little blood, too. Either he fell, or... There's enough blood to worry me. blood. Must have had time to bind his wound. This chest looks like it's a boss room. At least he's easy to follow. Just hope he's okay. Glad to see you, stranger. Are you Kendert? I'm a friend of Jira's. Huh? I'm a husband of Jira's. She heard you'd gone missing. I tracked you. What happened? I was coming to join her. A sandstorm blew in, I sought shelter. It didn't work out. And here I am getting red as a Karja priest, my goods scattered in a herd of tramplers. There's only so much you can do to make me look less of an idiot. But could you get back my scrapper sap? 
That would be the stuff down there with the herd of tramplers? I'm not proud. I'm just a brewer. And maybe five bottles of that is worth more than I am to Jira. Mm -hmm. Huntress. How did your bottles get scattered so far? Let's just say it took me a while to realize I didn't have to run in a straight line. down.
Huntress. Thank you. Asaram's finest, this stuff. Keeps you warm in a snowstorm, strips the grit out of a gear wheel. Kandert, why did you set out so unprepared? Hammer to steel of the matter is. I did it for love. When Jira said she wanted to leave the claim, I consulted with the Ildermen. I won't repeat what they said. You won't like it. You've got me curious. No. I've already dug myself a hole deep enough to swallow a Thunderjaw. It was my mistake not going with her. I've had time enough to see that. Maybe it's not too late. You'll find her stocking up at Day Tower. Good luck. I'll be heading off soon. This saloon of hers, what's it like? Uh, roomy.
These will keep. Party little plant. You'll help. Here is the sun's rising. I've got That's a lot of quality card outfit. <laughs> Little spark. Any sign of that man? I found him, Jira. I think you two will have a lot to talk about. I like a good story and a good drink. It's why I'm good at what I do. He's bringing you both. Kendert wants to be with you. He regrets that he took the word of the... Yildermen? Women know their place in the claim, was their word. It's the Karja's son that bakes their brains and gives them such thoughts. That's... The tribe. He can't bear a grudge. It'd make you go mad. <laughs> My silly man. Little Spark, how can I thank you? There'll always be a drink for you at Hunter's Gathering. This story's gonna be a keeper. If he makes it the rest of the way.
for help. My duty is to guard. I don't get involved in politics. Wearing Karja clothes around here is only good sense. No, no, I'm old. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Don't let me delay you any longer. Meet Aaron at the warehouse. Don't let your guard down. Move along. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire things? Able-bodied adventurers! 
Preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Derva? I got a surprise for you. a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. That's if a that lot bomb of goes off, the blaze will ignite enough. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket, not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ah! We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I introduce you to a reasonable share of the fire and set up a bucket line? Call the guards. There could be What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. I have a matter of grace well, and beauty I'd like to discuss with you. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Derval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Derval did find a way into the palace.
Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quick, Carpen, you chuff. Someone's got to guard the rear. Someone better guard the rear. You'll do. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't? I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! No space. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. We're under attack! I've led an army. Walls and ravages. A savage is nothing. You're starting to irritate me. Why does Avad always have ladies in the fighting? yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Murderous place! 
Hello? Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Should have brought a cart. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Sturdy Osaron hands. I know how to put them to use. Hello? Well, as you can see, 
busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not working. Ha ha. It's funny to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a thunder your world in your bedroom. Gotta admit, it burns me that a savage track me down. Most Nora get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn. You think that spear of yours is so fancy, but I could craft it blindfolded during a quick nap. Riding machines? Am I supposed to be impressed? Get one to serve me lunch, then I'll take notice. You're like a burr in a boot, you know that? Just so irritating. Hammer to steel. I hate you. Someday, I'm gonna build a machine with the specific purpose of pulling your braids out. By the great flaming forge, just leave me alone, Red. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Don't pass up these goods. A moment of your time, Outlander? Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me.
Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. It might be worth taking a moment to examine what you just said. You just lost Ursa, a woman who stood at your side and could easily be described as strong, shrewd, and capable. It's pretty clear how you felt about her. And now you're asking me to take her place. Is this a job offer or a proposition? By the sun, you do indeed share much with Ursa. Including a withering eye for foolishness. Ah. Please. Accept my apologies. Seems I'm getting ahead of myself. I need some time... to resolve my feelings. I will be forever grateful to you, Aloy. And in time... I'd like to get to know you better. Shall we leave it at that, then? Were you and Ursa... you know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Asaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Asaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Still want to talk? I might need a hanky. I'll see you later. I hope so. Yeah, they're 
fighting machine. Fine goods for a fair price. Fine goods for Check a fair price. Right. Not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Would you like to buy Won't something? Find better wares. Leave the rest. Come, take a look. You'll I'm like not what stopping I have. when you're in the thick of it. Take a look at these wares. I take a look at these wares. This wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation. That we would have class. And I told you, a true metal seller knows to get his hands dirty. So many people to this. you wipe machine oil on my silks. Who I've wears a silk apron to the metal markets? Won't cost you a shard, just they a just look. keep going. I told you from the beginning this Won't wouldn't be a scrap dealing operation. <laughs> Why would you need? And I told you, a true metal like seller knows to get his hands dirty. Yeah. A little more dirt on you, and even you'd pass for an ulcer on. And one of these. later. I have nothing to trade.
using me. May there be songs in your name. In Ban Ur, they already sing songs about the hunts I've completed. Sing to the glaciers. Skill sharp. We should head north. North, where the ice and snow falls. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. These lands are filled with noise, but it is just noise. I am the best hunter of my will, and none shall rest that on me. The machines in the grove will let you walk right up and put your hands on them. Long health and heart. Well prepared for the hunt, I hope. To see these machines up close like this, it's grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals where it killed a great ice hunter, tore him in two. A challenge I accepted, but when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. <sighs> what is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here guarding the shamans. I can feel myself growing old. I will not let this ravager out of my sight.
I have proven my worth with a hundred hearts. I shall will echo for a hundred more. May the machine spirits bless you for that. The last hunt was a good one. It struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. The spoils of the hunt have been a little light lately. We should find a few machines earn the spirit's favor. The nuke lands are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. I don't like spending so long away from the hunt. Makes my muscles twitch. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts, and my song will echo for a hundred more. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've... never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban-Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. Teacook, have any other outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines... sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We are not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell. Or perhaps... It slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but... Maybe my focus can. There, signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it.
Well, those colors will stand out in the snow and ice, I suppose. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. Talks are just a good sign, I guess. Just leave us here! Did Vilgen send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered sea. Ancient device. Plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for oxen. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. <sighs> Getting soaked from melted snow.
No, they've already started attacking. The hunt is back. Machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. War and randomly. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. I don't fear it. There's only a side effect. He's not gonna be happy about this. If I get stuck out here alone one more time, they're gonna regret it. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. The silence. Hello?
These are helpful. Bitter, though. Never know when I might need these. Easy, easy. 